heavenly King, King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord of Jesus Christ, our only begotten Son, Lord of God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son, confirms the mysteries of faith by the witness of the fathers and wonderfully prefigured our full adoption to sonship. Grant, we pray, to your servants that listening to the voice of your beloved Son, we may merit to become co-heirs with him who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the prophet Daniel. As I watched, thrones were set up, and the Ancient One took his throne. His clothing was bright as snow, and the hair on his head as white as wool. His throne was flames of fire, with wheels of burning fire. A surging stream of fire flowed out from where he sat. Thousands upon thousands were ministering to him. Myriads upon myriads attended him. The court was convened, and the books were opened. As, as the visions continued, I saw one like a son of man coming on the clouds of heaven. When he reached the Ancient One and was presented before him, the one like a son of man received dominion, glory, and kingship. All peoples, nations, and languages serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not be taken away. His kingship shall not be destroyed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is King, the Most High over all of the earth. The Lord is King, the Most High over all the earth. The Lord is King, let the earth rejoice, let the many islands be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. The Lord is King, the Most High over all the earth. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his justice and all people see his glory. The Lord is the King, the Most High, over all the earth. Because of you, O Lord, because you, O Lord, are the Most High over all the earth, be exalted far above all gods. The Lord is the King, the Most High, over all the earth. Amen. Amen. <laughs> a reading from the second letter of St. Peter. Beloved, we did not follow cleverly devised myths when we made known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but we had been eyewitnesses of his majesty, for he received honor and glory from God the Father when that unique declaration came to him from the majestic glory. This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. We ourselves heard this voice come from heaven, and while we were with him on the holy mountain, moreover, we possess the prophetic message that is altogether reliable. You will do well to be attentive to it, as to a lamp shining in dark place, until day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. The word of the Lord. Thanks be Thanks to God.
beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Alleluia. From the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus took Peter, James, and, and his brother John and led them up a high mountain by themselves. And then he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became white as light. And behold, Moses and Elijah to them, conversing with him. Then Peter said to Jesus in reply, Lord, it is good that we are here. If you wish, I will make three tents here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, behold, a bright cloud cast a shadow over them, then from the cloud came a voice that said, This is my beloved son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell prostrate and, uh, and were much afraid. But Jesus came and touched them, saying, Rise and do not be afraid. And uh, when he touched them, and when the disciples raised their, their eyes, they saw no one else but Jesus alone. As they were coming down from the mountain, Jesus charged them, do not tell the vision to anyone until the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We surely need uh, that second reading very seriously because it is a testimony of Peter who was one of those whom Jesus took to the mountain where he was transfig transfigured. And it is the transfiguration that we are celebrating at this Mass. Let us begin with the Gospel of Matthew. And uh, you will remember the text in the Gospel of Matthew, in chapter 16. Our Gospel is from 17 today. But let me begin with chapter 16. In the place where Jesus asks his disciples who people say that he is, you remember that Peter answers and tells him that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And uh, Jesus confirms the answer. He asked, uh, the answer is correct. But immediately, he begins to speak about his coming death. And they will go to Jerusalem, and he will suffer, and he will die. Remember that Peter cannot understand that, because how can Christ, who has just been confirmed as the Son of the living God, now suffer and die. And Peter begins to rebuke Jesus Christ for such uh, words. But later on, now in chapter 17, Jesus takes these three disciples, or apostles, Peter, John, and James, and they go up the mountain. And there he is transfigured before them. So it is Jesus Christ clarifying, or preparing the minds of his apostles, and subsequently the disciples, that his glory that he has with the Father, he owes it, yes, but that glory will come after his suffering, his death, and his resurrection. So for a moment on that mountain, Jesus discloses 
and his divine nature as fully as it is, confirming what Peter had answered earlier, that he is the Christ, the Son of the living God. In the light of that glory of God, the glory of Jesus Christ, but which will come after some suffering, yes, and then the resurrection. We have a very beautiful prayer from the Byzantine rite, their own celebration of the Transfiguration. And I always like to refer to that prayer because it combines the glory of Christ, but it's so powerful, you know, bringing in the suffering also in a way that we can understand who Jesus Christ really is. This is. These are the words of the prayer. You were transfigured on the mountain, and your disciples, as much as they were capable of it, beheld your glory. So that when you, or so that when they should see you crucified, they would understand that your passion was voluntary and uh, proclaim to the world that you are the splendor of the Father. So we see the two realities about Jesus Christ combined. But one who follows that prayer keenly comes out actually elated. You know, you are better, you feel better when you come out from that prayer. It is not depressing, you know, the suffering does not really mean the suffering that comes out as the way to. And so the glory that the disciples see, the resurrection that Jesus Christ will sub subsequently uh, have, now come out as what lightens the understanding, brightens the understanding of the disciples. So before his public ministry, we have the baptism of Jesus Christ, when the divinity of Jesus is confirmed. This is my beloved son. And then, toward the end, before the passion, we have the transfiguration. This is my beloved son, with whom I am well pleased. From those two uh, scenes, the beginning and at the end, the church teaches us, from the, from the catechism of the Catholic Church, that the baptism of Jesus Christ proclaims the mystery of our own first regeneration when we are born again by water. And then at the transfiguration, it proclaims the mystery of our second regeneration, which is our own resurrection. The transfiguration gives us a foretaste of Christ's glorious coming when he will in the words of St. Paul, change our lowly body to be like his glorious body. But also, when we celebrate the Transfiguration, we recall that it is through many uh, persecutions that we will enter the kingdom of God. And so when St. Peter, now in the second reading, has understood these realities, about the glory and the passion, then we can now come out and uh, testify in the words that we hear from that reading. We did not follow cleverly devised, uh, devised means. When we made known to you the power uh, and the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but we had been eyewitnesses of his majesty. We ourselves heard this, that voice that came from heaven while we were with him on the holy mountain. We possess the prophetic message that is altogether reliable. Remember that these are the words of the same Peter who had thought that he was going to remain on the, on the mountain. And he saw the glory. He thought that was the end. What is the need again? Leaving this glory. But Christ still had to suffer. 
they, the disciples and the apostles, still had to suffer. And so we as Christians, we still have our pilgrimage to go through here on earth before we attain that glory. But on, on that pilgrimage, we can already, as Peter ends by saying, rely on his testimony. We can rely already on the hope that lies in the future. And that hope is the foretaste that Jesus Christ has made us to witness through the, uh, the transfiguration. And so dear brothers and sisters, as we make our journey through this life, let the transfiguration be our inspiration and our, our assurance, our hope, the hope of the future glory that we will have with the risen Lord. Dear brothers and sisters, we have gathered this evening to celebrate the mysteries of our redemption. Let us ask Almighty God that the whole world may be watered from these springs of life and blessing. For all civil and religious leaders, they will heed the wants of their people by prompt action so that their lives will be improved. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all parents, that they may live out their vocation by constant attention to the problems and concerns of their children, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all caregivers, that they may discover in the example of Jesus the inspiration and the dedication necessary for finding self-fulfillment in serving others, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all educators, that they may always be aware that besides imparting knowledge to students, they must also instill a sense of providing for others, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all security providers, that they may re always realize that in protecting others, they must adopt the manner and style of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. This Mass is being offered for the repose of the soul of Anita C. Bilodeau. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May your mercy, we beseech you, O Lord, be with your people who cry to you. So that what they seek at your prompting, they may obtain by your ready generosity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life, 
Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual bread. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and good of all is holy church. Sanctify, O Lord, we pray, these offerings here made to celebrate the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son. And by his radiant splendor, cleanse us from the stains of sin. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord for he reveals his glory in the presence of chosen witnesses and filled with the greatest splendor that bodily form which he shares with all humanity that the scandal of the cross might be removed from the hearts of his disciples and that he might show how in the body and how in the body of the whole church is to be fulfilled what so wonderfully shone forth first in his head. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts. Hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, struck it and gave it to his disciples to say, Take that, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take thus, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do thus in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until, until you come, come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and a minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread it throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Robert our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God and Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on ourselves, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those caused to suffer of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, only say the word, and my soul shall be.
appeared in Antiphon, when Christ appears, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. We invite our brothers and sisters who are following the Mass on Facebook to make an act of spiritual communion through this prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. body of Christ. The 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 body of Christ. body of Christ, the body of Christ, the body of Christ, the body of Christ, the body of Christ. 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 Amen. body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ.
let us pray. May the heavenly nourishment we have received, O oh Lord, we pray, transform us into the likeness of your Son, whose radiant splendor you will to make manifest in his glorious transfiguration, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him and bring him before you. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan, Satan and the other evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. And have a good night. Thank you, Father. You too.